Just listen to the noise. Apparently, listen to the sounds. It's a very relaxing, beautiful morning, and Dacha is still asleep. But we need to get going. And plan our next route. So here is all the stuff. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and this is Pietru. We chucked everything and are now full time living and sailing on our new home, Sisu. Okay, so we're going to get the engines going. And we off. Bright and breezy. Mm. It is a nice breeze. We are sailing. We've got the big dog out. Check how it looks like. Very beautiful. And the mane is flying nicely. I even dropped the sail back a little bit to help us in this light winds so that we actually gain that whole basically that of the main sail. Pietro is busy and untangling the tangles. That's it, the problem with new Dyneema lines, they just keep on doing that. Yeah, if anyone knows how to <laughs> keep them to undo this or why they're doing it, oh, please comment look below. At that. Look at that. And they they keep on stuck in the jammers. They keep on twisting like that. How can we get it not to do that or yeah? Did somebody it's a, say stay soft or something? I don't know. Stay soft. I don't know. That looks like a together dust. It sounds like a together dust because yeah, it's well, soapy. Well, well, it also it not eat the ropes or something. <laughs> Take away the ultraviolet yeah. or something. Yeah. So Peter is doing that. I'm having a cup of tea and also working on the movies. The next video. It's going to be a cool one. Okay. I think we've got now the Genoa main. The Genoa and a Cody wing on wing. What's our speed? It is now 4.4 with 7 knots. Four, four apparent, four. four apparent. The four apparent wind. Yep. So the big problem now is going to be to get our main down while we're going downwind. But look at this. Just lots and lots of sails here. And we also rigged that one to our midcleat there. So we actually now widen our Genoa. So the Genoa Together with this big sail, there's just no parasailer that can beat this shit. How to perform a tack with a big code D? You actually have to do a jibe. So what you do is you ease out with your sheet line, keeping the sail under power the whole time. And once the sail is right in front of you, you let go completely. And then as your stern goes through the wind, you start hardening up and start sheeting in on the other side. And voila, that's how it's done. If you decide to anchor next to a wind farm, and I think you should expect very, very rolly seas and windy seas. 
But we have anchored in worse in the Atlantic, so I think we will do this one. But not recommended for manholes. There's a marina. It's about 200 lira for one night. Which I guess is divide. Oh, I don't even know how many dollars that is. This is going to let us sleep quite nicely tonight. A couple of local... I would say it's maybe kiddies or... Coming to check the sunset. What a shitty job. somewhere there in Turkey so that is still Turkey and here is the Greek islands coming in so this is Greece so we are somewhere there and we are on our way to English Harbour so our friends Iki guys there they do 5.5 but in general they beating us quite often with that mono and this is the the true wind angle and everything that you techie guys want to know so that's it this is our sail configuration so we got the Genoa tight onto Midcliffe yes so it's more open to the outside uh, so almost like in Monos they put out a spinnaker pole so <laughs> we just now put out a beam line if you're going to, I don't know what you call that and then the main is wing on wing let me go this way then you can see the wing on wing better so here's the Genoa going all the way up and then you can see the main is out that side and just for in case we also have a Preventer on met cleat here. Game. <laughs> Ew. 
we go. Look at this big gulla. There's quite a number of places to do your thing. And that is where you come into this area and look at that seas. And we've just been, <laughs> we just came into from that seas. My stand up board made a 360. The wind was hectic, but we were going to anchor off in the bay from here called uh, English, English Harbour. Yeah, English Harbour. But there was like the Coast Guard and there was like a warship and everything. And I just So we assume the president is there and he has another boat so I think this place is going to be crap because everybody gets shunned away from there. I think this boat is also coming here. And this is where we sit and listen to the sound. The sound of silence. Chicken wings tonight. What a lovely morning. Just here, chickens. So we are still in a little bay of so good. And we heard this morning that tomorrow is going to be another lockdown. So we might be staying for another day. But we're going to get into the dinghy and go and explore time to go exploring because we heard this shop has dark rum because <laughs> <laughs> this is rum is still not ready to brew it's still boiling we've got two choices one is over there into view what do you think I think both and everything Apparently. So. Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan. Okay. Look at that. Okay. All the way from South Africa. <laughs> and you? Ching, 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 ching. Okay, so we're sitting here. Yeah. We have just finished here at Raka. Kitchen and bar. Uh, it is this one here. Yeah. That top one. But yeah, it's the first time that I see Canada and France is in the same direction. <laughs> from this point, from Turkey. <laughs> yeah, maybe they so you on the wall, eh? You know, to get to Canada. Over the polar cap, yeah, you so say. You get hit France and then keep going over, you'll eventually get to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get this soon. Anyway, so, yeah. highly recommend it. We had a brilliant. <laughs> We had a brilliant pizza. Yeah. Uh, we had dark rum. And dark rum, yeah. That was the absolute the draw card to start off with. <laughs> and this is the second little restaurant. They're not really open, but they can serve us a beer. And one, but look how cute this is. And they've got a cool outside bar. And a little market. And showers. This is really an awesome place.
think is the perfect place this one it's so cute look at all the trees it's look excellent. at all the bees it's very cute there's even flowers <laughs> deeper inside less spell bring the guys of the gun with you they're no. checking us out <laughs> are you wet kirsten <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's just like wax. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I decide fast is better. <laughs> the slow shit is not. Do you know how deep it is here? I don't remember. But we have a deep pool size. You have? Serious? But this is the boat that we saw and we we thought this one is three anchor. Eka guy also checking out the scene and I think we've got barbecue we've got bry wood here as well <laughs> okay, so we are busy packing for a bry on the beach on the beach look at this that is just awesome and I've been, me, moi, have been breaking my precious wine glasses one after the other. <laughs> Not Sisu. <Sisu-su>. So, <laughs> so these are also glass, but they are sturdy, so it's Coca Cola glass, but we're going to drink wine out of it. Let's do that. And then we've got some electronics here battery to charge everything that we need to charge and a time lapse thingy and some music in the background it's going to be awesome and of course this camera and <laughs> okay, now it is loading onto the pix yeah. oh, important is ingredient oh, is the is what did the you put in here <laughs> wine just wine and ice <laughs> <laughs> Because I drink, I drink ice with my wine. I know it's wrong. Only wine and ice. But I do that. A new kind of braai broeki. Are we going to introduce the Aussies to another South African dish that's called in Afrikaans a rooster brood. A rooster brood. A rooster is braai and bread. Brood is bread. And now you braai the bread on the fire. So we're going to have an early barbecue because tomorrow morning we're leaving at. I think they say crack. five o'clock. Crack of dawn. Yep. You say. I think it's the crack of dawn. It's just going to start getting light then. I've not seen a crack of dawn for a very long time. <laughs> You're going to see it tomorrow. And there's Ikigai. But I think they've already Ikigai. gone. They've already gone to the. Yeah, they're already there. And it's around this little corner. I came Stana boarding here. Earlier on, it's nice and shallow and quiet and not a lot of shade, eh? We're going to be exposed to this one. Pietro is trying something new here. Welcome. Well, they're both singing. Watch out on Grumpy Guts when you see it. Where are they?